Hey, how's it going guys? Bob from Bobots Trains. I had two MTH passenger cars that were given to me by a guy that I helped out with his layout. And I thought these would be good candidates to play around installing LED lighting strips. So with some help from the guys on the OGR forum, I did this project in a couple days. So here's the original lighting with the four bulbs before I did the LED conversion. Notice the hot spots from the bulbs and I'm running at 18 volts right now. And here you see the original wiring and the original four bulbs, just so we can get an idea of what's inside there before I do the project. And our current draw looks to be about 683 milliamps on the original wiring. Now with some help from the guys on the OGR forum, this is the circuit I fashioned up. For my original circuit, I made a modification and added this trimmer pot so that I could dim down the LEDs. The circuit includes a voltage regulator, a capacitor, a full wave bridge rectifier, a resistor, and that trimmer pot. Oh, and a choke for DCS. Now, even though these LED strips have an adhesive backing, I wasn't sure whether they would hold long term, so I just hot snotted the LED strips into the top of the shell. And over here on my circuit board, um, the back of it would show through that little window in the vestibule, so uh, maybe. So what I did was just took a Sharpie and colored it black so that if it did show through the end, it wouldn't be as noticeable. And I was more interested in checking the electronics and seeing how that worked on this one than the cosmetic appearance, but I don't think it'll be a problem. I hot snotted my circuit board into the end of the car and then I tapped my wires down off of theirs through the wire nut and soldered it onto that side of the bulb. Now, I guess if you want to run all these and, you know, with the LEDs and the bulbs and have nuclear fusion in your car, that's fine. But I'm going to take these four bulbs out and then just run the LEDs. And down here is my trimmer pot so I can adjust if they're too bright. Okay, so what's the amperage going to be if we use all four of the factory bulbs and my LED strip? Let's put it to 18 volts and about 714 milliamps. Now I'll pull out the bulbs one at a time and we'll watch it drop. So where'd we stabilize in at about 43, 44 milliamps, 43 milliamps with the LED circuit. Let me start playing with my pot and see what happens. All the way down to nothing. The bulb's super low. As I crank it up, we go back up to the 43, 44. Now that's a 5K trimmer, and I believe the LED strips have 150 ohm in series built into them and I'm using a 47 ohm across my current regulator. So now let's check the cap and see what type of flicker free performance we have. I'll simulate you know going over the rails here and having some breaks in the current. I mean as long as you're just jostling around it's fine. I can actually pull these apart for a split second and you know then they'll then they'll flicker a little bit you can always put a bigger cap in this is a 470 microfarad if you have room put a bigger one in but I think it's going to be fine I mean I'm actually pulling these things apart at times to make it flicker most of the time with the two pickups that's probably not going to happen And here's a split screen showing the original at the top with the hot spots and the bulbs and then the more uniform LED lighting at the bottom. I have all my supplies here, which is good because I have one more car to do like that. It was a really fun project and I learned a lot and I want to thank the guys at the OGR forum, but I really specifically want to thank Gunrunner John, Stan2004, and rail ride and there's some other guys they know who they are but stan 2004 really writes things in a way that at my level i understand exactly what he's saying and i really appreciate it so thanks for that while we're at it let's just test the flicker free operation so the cap's doing its job look at that no flickering leds are on all the time going across some rail joints nice 
Well, I hope this has been informative. Please leave your comments and likes below. And I hope this helps you with one of your projects. And thanks for watching.